Hello dear friends, in this video I shall take up uh, some simplification problems using the rule of V Bodmas that is vinculum, the symbol of bar, bracket of divide, multiply, add and subtract that is the sequence of operations we need to follow to simplify questions like this. Now I have written the topic as mixed fraction because I want to apply this uh, V Bodmas on mixed fractions. But first of all, we should try and understand how V board mass has to be applied. So I have taken a question of decimals in which I will apply this rule and uh, then I will get on with one or two questions of V board mass for better understanding. Let's see the question here. It is 15.3 divided by 3 minus 1 fourth of, there is a term in the bracket 19.6 minus 6.8 plus 0 0.5 into 7.5. Now students. Uh, who are preparing for competitions, they tend to mis uh, commit a lot of mistakes in this because even a silly mistake will result in wrong answer and in MCQs, uh, answer matters a lot because that's what you want to achieve in minimum amount of time. So let's see how we can solve this one easily. Now see, there is no vinculum sign here, no bar, so I am omitting V, now bracket, now bracket, here we have a bracket, so let's simplify this bracket first. 15.3 divided by 3 minus 1 fourth of now let's subtract this now when you subtract 19.6 and 6.8 so this is uh, very close to 7 so if I convert this into 19.8 then minus 7 so 19.8 minus 7 is 12.8 so 12.8 is uh, the result of simplification of these two and then 0 0.5 into 7.5. Now already you can see the question has reduced to a great extent. Now after bracket we have off. So we need to simplify this off. So 15.3 divided by 3 you can carry out this division also. 3 by the 15 and 0 0.1 minus. Now 1 fourth of this. Now you can uh, very easily judge what is off. Off means multiply. So, one fourth of this is 4, 3 is 12 and 2 is 8. So, 3.2. This is one fourth of 12.8 and plus now we need to divide, divide, division we have done here. Now, multiplication we can multiply this. Now, 7.5 into 0 0.5. How do you multiply by 0 0.5? Multiplication by 0 0.5 is actually halving the number. So 7.5 into 0 0.5 means half of 7.5 which is 3.75. And now it's a simple question of addition and subtraction. We can subtract these two numbers or uh, we can add these two numbers and then subtract this. Whatever way you want to, you feel comfortable with. I'm adding it 8.85 minus 3.5. Zero. So, this is a very simple question now. The final answer will be 5.65. Now, friends, this is a simple question of V board mass application. And now, once you are aware of this rule, we can get on with some higher problems of V board mass. Now, in the next question, I am taking up some a, a different question in which I will be using mixed fractions. Okay, let's have this question. Now see lot of brackets here but no vinculum again, no bar. So I will use the bar in the next question. Now first of all is brackets. Now order of brackets, you must be knowing the order in which the brackets are to be dealt with. This is the first one we need to simplify. This curly brackets are the second one and the square brackets, they are the third one. So this is the order in which we have to open the brackets. So let's simplify all the brackets or parentheses, this bracket. See 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. This is 3 plus 2, 5, 5 by 6. So cross multiply 1 into 3, 1 into 2. 3 plus 2 is 5 and 3 into 2 is 6. Now divide by, again here we have 1 into 6. We can do 1 into 6, 1 into 4 and 4 into 6 also. Or you can take the LCM of 4 and 6. LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. Now 14 divided by 4 is 3. So 3, 14, uh, 12 divided by 4 is 3 and 12 divided by 6 is so this is, I'll remove the bracket in the next step. Okay, 8 minus 
Now convert this into simple fraction. This is 15, 16 by 3. And I'll solve this now. 3 minus 2 and half. We all know that 2 and half is 2.5. So 3 minus 2.5 is 0 0.5. And 0 0.5 is 1 by 3. So this bracket reduces to 1 by 2. So number of brackets now have been reduced. And now I'll remove some more brackets. 5 by 6. Multiply by, if you convert the divide sign into multiply, then this will uh, be converted into its reciprocal. So this is 1 by 12, which gets converted into 12 by 1. Minus 8 minus, now let's simplify this. Now see 3 and 2 are co-prime. So just cross multiply 32 minus 3 is 29. And 3 2s are 6. So we have one more bracket removed. And now only one bracket is remaining which we will solve in the next step. Now this 6 cancels out 2 times give, thereby giving you 5 2s are 10 minus. Now let's simplify this. 8 6 are 48. And when you subtract 48 and 29, 48 minus 29 is 19. And in the denominator we have this 6. And now this is a simple problem of subtraction of rational numbers, 6. So 60 minus 19, thereby giving you the answer 41 by 6. You can convert this also in the form of a mixed fraction, 6, 6 are 36 and we have 5 remainder, so 5 by 6. Or 6, 5 by 6 or 41 by 6 is the answer for this important question. Let's have the third question now. A pretty much larger question in which we have a uh, wind coulomb sign also. This is the sign of wind coulomb and a uh, lot of brackets and a lot of mixed fractions in this question. So if you can get the answer to this question, simplified answer, correct in the first attempt, then I think you are uh, well aware of the rule of V-board mass and the application part of it. So let's solve this one. Now see, we can solve this bracket simultaneously and the vinculum sign also. So B, D, I can remove this V sign because and this is totally independent of this vinculum. So I can solve this also together. So let's solve step by step. Now see 3 minus 2 and half is under the vinculum sign. So 3 minus 2 and half means 3 minus 2.5, which is 0 0.5, that is 1 by 2. So this reduces to 1 by 2. So I'll write from here. 5, 1 by 3 is 15, 16 by 3, minus sign and the reduction of this uh, will give you 1 by 2. So this is one simplification of this uh, bracket and furthermore 8 minus and then 7 by 2 minus this will remain as it is for the time being and uh, the simplified form of this is 12 plus 7, 19, 19 by 12 minus and uh, here we can solve this now. See 2, 2 by 3 is 6 to 8, 8 by 3 minus 6 plus 5, 11, 11 by 6. Now how do you find the difference of these two numbers? Uh, you can convert this also in the form of 6. So you have to multiply numerator and denominator by 2. So 16 minus 11 by 6. So this is 5 by 6. So the simplified form of this is 5 by 6. Now, in the first step, the question reduces nearly to half. Let's simplify now. See, 5 by 6, off. Off means multiply 19 by 12. So, 5 by 6 into 19 by 12 minus 7 by 2 minus curly brackets 8 minus. Okay, let's simplify this now. 16 by 3 minus 1 by 2. Now, see, 3 and 2 are co-prime. So just cross multiply 32 minus 3 is 29 and 3 into the 6. So 29 by 6. So question reduces further and now you can solve this and this together. Why? Because they are independent. So this is 95 by 72 minus 7 by 2 minus. Now 8 6 are 48. So 48 minus 29 is 19, 48 minus 29 is 19, so 19 by 6. So see the simplified form of this, already only 3 terms are 
there in this simplified form. Now I can take the LCM directly. 2 is a divisor of 72, 6 is also a divisor of 72. So 72 will be the LCM of these three terms. Here we have 95 as it is, then minus sign. 72 divided by 2 is 36 and 36 multiplied by 7. This will give you 252. So we will have 252 here and minus minus becomes plus when you open this bracket and 72 divided by 6 is 12. So 19 into 12. 12 is 108. 12 and 10 22. So 228 in the numerator here. So finally in the last step we will have our answer. This will be okay 228 and 252 we have to subtract so 95 minus this will be negative because this term is higher than this term so negative and 252 minus 228 this will give you 24 and finally 72 in the denominator to give you the final answer difference of 95 and 24 is 71 and in the denominator we have 72 thereby give you the answer 71 by 72. So in the second question here we have three fractions here and I did not put up uh, the vinculum sign, pur sign purposely beforehand just I wanted to tell you how vinculum sign works out. Now see here we have negative of a fraction and negative of another fraction so if we put a vinculum sign on these two fractions then this operation 4 and a half minus 3 1 by 3 has to be carried out first and this minus sign remains outside. So it is like another bracket. Once we have exhausted the three types of brackets, uh, the square bracket, curly bracket and the parenthesis, then vinculum sign is used as the fourth option. So we need to get rid of this vinculum first and then the parenthesis, then the curly brackets and then the square brackets. So let's see the first question, a comparatively simpler one in which we have two brackets which need to be solved first. So let's solve them. See 5 and 3, they are co prime. Uh, okay, in the course of solving this uh, question, I'll tell you some shortcuts through which you can add and subtract uh, rational numbers. Like 4 by 5 and 1 by 3, you don't need to take LCM. Why? Because 5 and 3 are co prime, so their LCM will be their product. So you need to just cross multiply in the numerator. 4 3 is 12, 5 1 is 5. So 12 minus 5 because we have a negative sign in between so 12 minus 5 is 7 and in the denominator we have 5 3 is a 15 so 7 upon 15 is what we obtain on simplification of the first bracket now see this is divide which gets converted into multiply and 4 1 by 5 is actually 21 by 5 okay so this is 21 by 5 so if we have a divide sign here then I will write 21 by 5 itself but if we convert it into a uh, product that is multiply then we will take the reciprocal that I will do in the next step okay plus 2 by 3 off off means multiply now let's solve this one so this is 31 by 6 minus 32 35 by 8 so now the question has been reduced a great extent now let's see 7 by 15 and convert this into product and 5 by 21 plus 2 third of now let's subtract this one now see 6 and 8 they are not co-prime they are uh, having a common factor 2 so if you want to get to the answer quickly then you need to find the LCM very quickly now see 6 does not divide 8 exactly so we need to take multiples of 8 8 to the 16, 16 is also not divisible by 6, so next multiple is 24, so 24 is not divisible by 6, so the LCM of 6 and 8 is 24, so if the LCM is 24, then how about the numerator, 24 divided by 6 is 4 and 4 into this is 124 minus 24 divided by 8 is 3 and 3 into one, uh, 35 is 105. Now here 5 cancels out 3 times and 7 cancels out 3 times so we have 1 by 9 plus 2 third of now let's subtract this if you subtract 105 from 124 you will have 19 
and in the denominator we have 24. So this 2 also gets cancelled 12 times, thereby leaving behind 1 by 9 and 19 by 36. Now again the LCM of 9 and 36. See 9 divides 36 exactly. So you don't need to worry. The larger number is the LCM. Whenever we have two numbers out of which one is a factor of the other, then the larger number is the LCM. So here we have 36 as the LCM. So 36, if you multiply this by 4, it will become 36. So you need to multiply numerator also by 4. So this becomes 4 plus 19 and that's what is the answer 23 upon 36. This is the simplified form of this question of simplification. Friends, I have taken 3 to 4 minutes in explaining this to you because I was explaining the concept of LCM also simultaneously. But in um, competitions, you need to solve this in 30 seconds or even less time. Let's see how we can solve one more question of this kind using this concept of V board mass now. Now see V stands for vinculum. So here we have the vinculum in this question. So vinculum has to be dealt with first. So this part 4 and half minus 3 1 by 3. I will solve this first. This is 9 by 2 minus 10 by 3. And now you can see 3 and 2 they are actually co prime. So once we have two co prime numbers then their LCM is their product and in the numerator we have to just cross multiply. So 27 minus 20 is 7. So if you solve the two terms under this vinculum sign this part reduces to 7 by 6. So let's write the remaining part and see what else we can do simultaneously. Now see apart from vinculum here everything is this part is in square brackets so we can simplify this bracket also simultaneously so let's simplify this this is 3 by 8 minus 1 by 12 now how do you do this now here 8 and 12 are not co-prime because they have common factors so we have to take multiples of 12 which are divisible by 8 12 is not divisible by 8 but if you take multiple of 12 that is 24 now 24 is divisible by 8. So the LCM of these two numbers is 24. So if you take 24 as the LCM, then 24 divided by 8 is 3, 3, two, 3 is 9 and 24 divided by 12 is 2, 2 into 1 is 2. So this is actually 7 by 24. So what I have done in this step is to reduce this part and this part into a single number or a single rational number. Now let's see what else is left. So I will write the first step here, 1, 2 by 3 is 5 by 3, off means multiply and this part I have reduced it to 7 by 24 minus, so we have a square bracket, this is 12, 14, so 14 by 3 minus curly bracket, 6 minus small bracket, now this is 6 plus 2, 8, 8 by 3 we have a minus and then this part we have reduced it to 7 by 6. So now we have this much question only which is left to be solved. Now let's see, okay I will write it a little bit separately so that you can understand it. This is 3 by 8 minus 1 by 12 which I have simplified. Okay, let's do it now. Here you can see among these two terms, 5 is not cancelling any of these numbers and 7 is also not a factor of these two numbers. So you need to multiply this. This is 35 upon 72 minus 14 by 3 minus 6 minus. So we need to simplify this now. See 8 by 3 minus 7 by 6. So you know the rule now. 3 divides 6 exactly. So we have the larger number as the LCM. So if you want to convert this also into 6, you have to multiply by 2. So this becomes 16 and 7. So this is 9 by 6, which cancels out and gives you 3 by 2 as the simplified form of this part.
So here we have, you can do it like this also, 48 minus 21 is 27 upon 18 and 27 upon 18 will also give you 3 by 2. So just write 3 by 2 here. So we have now got rid of the simple bracket. So let's now get rid of the curly bracket also. So 14 by 3 minus, now see 6 minus 3 by 2. So 6 minus 3 by 2. So 2 is the LCM. So if you want to convert this into 2, you have to multiply it by 2. So this becomes 12 minus 3. So this is 9 by 2. So another step resolved. And finally we have 35 by 72 minus now again this part C3 and 2 they are co prime. So just cross multiply this is 28 minus 27 which is 1 and 3 to the 6. And final step is as easy as it can be because 6 is a perfect divisor of 72. So 72 is the LCM of these two numbers. So we have 35 in the numerator here and 6 this is 12 times so 12 will come here thereby giving you the final answer as 23 upon 72. So friends I have taken a lot of time in explaining these two questions to you just to tell you how simple taking LCM can be and you can do it virtually in 20 to 30 seconds time in competitions. So friends if you are liking all these videos of simplification then share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel.